So guys, today I'm going to take you to the Kraftwerk. This is the place where I'm always wrenching and doing a little bit of stuff on the motorbike so that you actually can see what I'm into besides training, nutrition, all that kind of stuff because there is definitely a life besides to that as well. So let's get into that. Guys, as you can see, I am at Kraftwerk. I'm totally sorry for the audio because it's just the in-body audio of the camera because I totally forgot my microphone at home. What I'm about to do here today is I'm going to test ride the Cake motorbikes, which are electric motorbikes, as you've seen in the B-roll already before that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of work on my Harley Davidson. I'm going to change the steering. So that's the plan for today. Let's take you on a ride to actually just like experience what I'm doing for as a hobby because this is what I love motorbikes this is what I truly love outside of fitness and lifting So yeah, that was basically it for the day. So I hope you enjoyed this very different vlog this time, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of an impression of what I actually am into besides training and nutrition, what I enjoy and the things that are just also part of my life. So yeah, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed this format as well. Leave a thumbs up if you like that, if not, so be it right also subscribe to the channel because that always helps as well and hit the notification button so that you're always up to date when a new video is actually coming so thank you very much guys for this time and i guess i'll speak to you very soon ah uh, i got you right there right i know that you thought that the episode is actually over but it isn't <laughs> um yeah so as you can see, this is my hobby. So motorbikes, wrenching, doing a little bit of stuff on motorbikes, driving of course, or riding the motorbikes of course. But I think it's very important to have something outside of training and nutrition, like a hobby, like coffee for example. Isn't that a hobby? No, but in all honesty, I think it's very important that you have something outside of training and nutrition. Family could be one thing. My family is extremely important to me. And for nothing in the world, I would, or nothing in the world, I would sacrifice against that. It is the most important thing to me, and I think that this carries over to other aspects in your life as well. If you don't have a catalyst for stressful times, if you don't have something that to fall back to, where you just can be yourself, just be you, it becomes very hard to actually manage everything and put everything under the same roof. All right. And the same applies to something like training and nutrition because we are so invested in that emotionally as well. We have a hard time staying rational at times. And if we don't have somewhat of a catalyst, may it be family, may it be some other hobby, you will always be too fixated on training and nutrition. And then it ends up being a burden instead of enhancing your life. And this is always what I'm preaching and this is always what I'm falling back to. And also a reason why I'm bringing it up all the time Training and nutrition should enhance your life. You didn't start lifting for the sake of feeling miserable, did you? I would be very surprised if you did. And the same goes for me. I started training and nutrition to actually get healthier and to look better. And there's no shame about that. If you started lifting because you wanted to impress some kind of girl or you wanted to just look better in general, that's absolutely all right. No matter the reason, you've probably started in hope that it enhances your life, not that it dictates your life, not that it makes your life even more miserable. That's why I really do think that once things become a little bit stressful and there will probably be times where training feel, will feel a little less 
motivating, you won't have the willpower, you won't have the drive. And that is also absolutely all right and to be expected. You can't expect that you will always feel motivated going to the gym. There will be times where you will lose the drive. You will lose what you've been working for, what the focus in front of you, the overall goal, where you will question yourself. You will have times where you're just asking yourself like, why am I doing this in the first place? What am I hoping to get out of that? But then, this is the time where you actually then need to realize that either it has already become part of your identity, and secondarily, you will realize like, what are the alternatives? And in an extreme case, it's to do it, continue doing it, or not doing it at all. And for me, it's quite obvious what the choice would be. Even if there are times when I'm less motivated, less driven, I will still do that because it has become part of who I am. It is part of my identity. And the option of not doing it at all, that option doesn't even exist unless someone is forcing me to do so. That being said though, if you're then always expecting to feel absolutely great, absolutely driven all the time, then you are battling and fighting a lost cause. You need to have some things outside of that to stay on track, to stay sane overall and to still enjoy the process. I think it very much helps to have a hobby that is non-correlated to the entire training and lifting and the entire community, the fitness community in and for itself. I think it's very, very important. Also there, no one is caring about bodybuilding. No one is caring about lifting in general, being healthy. Most of the people who are riding motorbikes, at least where I'm wrenching, so in the community garage, they're heavy smokers, they're drinking, they are sleep deprived, all that kind of stuff. Right, so uh, yeah, I mean, and that is absolutely all right. It gives me a little bit of a different perspective. It takes me out of the bubble of our world, of our niche, and puts me somewhere else and makes me realize that there are other things in life that are important. And also it changes my perspective that it's not all about training and nutrition. There are so many people that simply don't care about that. And that's cool. It's absolutely cool because that just helps me staying a little bit more sane and realizing that it, lifting in and for itself is not really important for the world and for global health and for the well-being of people, right? I mean, yes, you can bring up the arguments about studies and then the health benefits for elderly folks, but this is a different story in and for itself. What I'm primarily speaking about is like the psychological aspect. So in my opinion, having a hobby outside of everything is just the thing that keeps me kind of sane and that every once in a while resets my mental state. So basically, this is all I wanted to talk about this time around. Just wanted to give you also a little bit of an insight of what I'm doing outside of training and nutrition and all that kind of stuff. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was kind of insightful. As always, hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Hit the notification button as well so that you're always up to date when a new video comes out. And also, hit the thumbs up because that helps the algorithm as well and supports us massively. So thank you very much guys and I guess I'll speak to you very soon.